Shalom kanisa. Kwa majina anaitwa Vincent Samadu na anatokea Mbezi Beach. Nasoma chuo, nasomea udaktari Doctor of Medicine niko mwaka wa kwanza. Siku ya Jumatano tulikuwa tuna mtihani. Ni chuo gani? Kinaitwa St Joseph kiko kule Boko, Boko okay. Campus. Amen. Asa Jumapili iliyopita dada alitufundisha kuhusu damu ya Yesu na ku update your faith. Asa mimi lile neno niliondoka nalo hapa na wakati huo nafahamu kwa Jumatano nina mtihani. That's why you choose to die for you. So don't kill yourself. Don't destroy yourself. I'm here, prophet, to tell you. No matter what you are going through, but know one thing. You are a precious son before God. You are a precious daughter before God. When you've been to a thamani, By the way, you are a daughter of God. You are a son of God. When you're a mungu. Through Christ Jesus. I, I, I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Here. Praise God, hallelujah. So hallelujah. don't allow circumstances. Don't allow challenge. To remove you. Praise God, hallelujah. Are, are you hearing me? Are you, that's why God was telling me. When I was praying there, He said, My son, go and tell my son the daughter. Praise God, hallelujah. To update their faith. Faith. To update their faith. To update their faith. Praise God, hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you. God is telling me to tell you. You are not alone. What you need is to update your faith. You know what God did the past. You know what God did the past. You know how much God he fought for you. In your channel. You, you know how God he care you in your mother's womb. You, you know how much God he care you. In the chest of your mother. In the chest of your mother. God he care you. He the same God. So what you need in your challenge. Is to update your faith. You update your faith. To know the same God He is moving with you The same God who put you in your mother's womb The same God who allow you to be born is the same God he see you through In the trouble you are in In the challenge you are in He is a living God He used to be living God to you He is a living God now He used to be living God in your life So what you need in your life Is to update your faith Adopt your faith Who is God before you who is God before you? Just update your faith. What is the challenge before you? Just update your faith. Remember what God did in your life. Remember what God did in your faith. So update your faith. For the things God did in your life. Update your faith. For the good things God did in your life. So update your faith. For the healing he performed in your life. No, no matter which country you are in. I know you may be in an enemy in any challenge but what you need is to update your faith not to give up not to give up not to think you are alone because of the challenge remember you are a child of God remember you are a woman of God remember someone who died for you you just know the same God the one who you put in your mother's womb he is the same God the one who you are allowed to be born in the same God the one who God was healed when you were a child in the same God. In the one he makes you to walk in the same God. Even when you fall down million times, God is your strength. So what you need is to update your faith. Kwa hiyo, ile jumatano ilipofika, waga na kuna kibegi kidogo, ni kwa na nimebeba hii brochure ambayo inasema call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Hii mm. brochure nilikuwa naibebaga. Asa ile siku ilipofika Jumatano asubuhi nika nimeingiza kwenye begi langu ndo watu wanasoma soma tuweze kuingia kwenye chumba cha mtani ile saa mbili. Mimi nikaa naambia watu dakika ya mwisho ikifika mwachie Mungu maana hata kuna mtu alikuwa pale msalabani anamwambia Yesu unikumbuke na mimi katika ufalme wako. Kwa nyinyi tuacheni kusoma hii dakika ya mwisho kabla tujaingia hapa hebu tu 
tumwachie Mungu tuombe tuingie kwenye mtihani anasema ah we mambo ni mengi sisi hata tuendelee kusoma mimi nikachukua Biblia shoka iko kwenye kibegi changu nikaingiza mikono yangu nikana najifunika na damu ya Yesu na vitu vyangu vyote vilikuwa kwenye kile kibegi pamoja na Biblia shoka nikatoa peni zangu nikaingia kwenye mtihani hiyo siku tunafanya somo moja lakini lina sehemu tatu kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni saa 11 tunasoma ni mtihani wa huo ilo somo moja asubuhi unafanya theory mchana unafanya practical jioni unafanya oro ya maongezi hivi Asa ile nimeingia kwenye chumba cha mtihani mtihani wa theory una maswali 100 nikafanya kwa maana ni masaa mawili kwao nikafanya nikamaliza baada ya kwenye practical tukafanya tukamaliza mchana Asa jioni ndo tutafanya mtihani wa oro wa maongezi hivi Asa ule oro wanasema mtu wa kwanza anaenda pale lazima ulize maswali mengi kwao mtu wa kwanza abidi ajue vitu vingi mimi namba yangu ni 51 kwao kaitwa namba moja hadi hamsini. Asa ki, wale wale ingia sisi ambao tuko nje ya 51 kwao ndo nasubiri. Watu wakananiambia, "Yaani wewe 51 ujiandae, tena hii ni kesho. Yaani wewe unaenda kuuliza maswali mengi, wewe ndio chambo kesho." Lakini mimi nilikuwa na, na Yesu. Mimi najua nikaona waambia hivi. Jumapili iliyopita dada alitufundisha kwamba Daudi kipindi alienda kule vitana akamwambia Sauli kwamba Mungu alienipa nguvu ya kumshinda Simba, akamshinda na dubu. Hebu msangilie Yesu aliye hai. Haleluya. Jesus. Hmm? Yesu anahitaji watu wanaruweka neno kwenye matendo kama huyu. Yes. Haleluya. Sio watu wa kuchukua tu neno na kuliwa kwenye kapu. Ah ah, baada ya kuchukua aliweka kwenye matendo. Anasema yeye yuko kule anasema baba yangu alinifundisha habari za Daudi na Goliati. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Anaanza kufanya application za rohoni. Anajikumbusha mwenyewe pale pale. Ana meditate huku wake. Hebu mshangilie Yesu aliye hai. Asante Yesu Kristo aliye hai. Ndio baba. Kwa nikaambia, nikaa naambia, nikaa naambia kabisa kama Daudi aliweza kumshinda dubu na simba, akamshinda na Goliati. Nikaa nakumbuka hata na mimi ni Mungu amefanya vitu vingapi kwenye maisha yangu. Nikaambia yule Mungu alienifukisha mimi la saa saba, akanivusha form 4, oh. akanivusha na form 6. Hebu msangilie na mtihani wa leo. Piga makofi kwa Yesu glory. Unasemaje? Hebu rudia tuone kipengele. Kuna mtu alifiki kwamba alifika darasa saba kwa nguvu zake. Rudia tena hicho kipengele. Nikaa naambia hivi, yule Mungu alienivusha mimi la saba, akanivusha form 4, akanivusha na form 6 na nikapata division 1. Ndiye akaenda kunivusha kwenye mtihani wa sasa hivi. Hebu mshangilie Jehovah wewe. Piga makofi kwa Yesu. Haleluya. Ndio ba sasa ilipofika mchana kwa wale namba moja ya 50 walikuwa wameingia wanafanya ile oro watu tulikuwa huko nje tukawa tunapata tu taarifa mtu wa kwanza ameingia kule amekaa dakika 20 anauliza tu maswali sasa mimi wakasema watu sasa kule tunaposoma kule kwenye kijiji wanasema yani wewe kesho utakoma sana mimi naambia nyao wajua wanachokuongea wakati sasa wakati ule bahati nzuri mchana wali update kwenye YouTube na ni video ya prophet Sanga kuhusu damu ya Yesu akisema sio lazima kila kitu unaomba tu peleka damu ya Yesu jifunike kwa damu ya Yesu kwa hiyo mimi nikasema kuanzia sasa hivi najifunika kwa damu ya Yesu na kule kwenye kile chumba ambacho nitaingia kufanya ile oro ninajifunika kwa damu ya Yesu. Na ile asubuhi tena asubuhi ilipofika ambayo ndio kesho yake ambayo ndio naanza moja moja Kwa hiyo nimefika pale chuo baada ya kuingia sasa ndo watu wanambia yani leo ndo naanza tena asubuhi muindi amekunywa chai yake ya pilipili utakoma. Mimi nikamwambia sina hofu na mashaka Yesu yuko pamoja nami. Kwa hiyo hapo Niko sasa pale ndo akanyita na namba 51. Watu wote huko tumeingia kwenye chumba kuanzia namba 51 hadi 114. Mimi ndo niko pale mlangoni wa kwanza. Kwa hiyo niko pale kuna mtu yuko pembeni yangu. Wewe unafanya nini hapo? Mimi mimi najifunika na damu ya Yesu. Sawa, alikuwa ni Mwarabu ajui. Kwa nika nikajifunika na damu ya Yesu. Kwa hiyo nikaingia mle ndani. Kwa hiyo yule mtano wa oro ilikuwa sababu si ni daktari kwa tunakuwa tunasoma mifupa. Sio mifupa plastiki original kabisa ya watu mimi kwa hiyo nikaambiwa nitoe pelvis. Yuko mingi nikaambiwa nitoe pelvis ni iki kiuno chote hichi. Kwa nikatoa. Kwa akaambia nitajie ligaments ambazo zinapatikana hapo. Nikataje ziko tano. Nikataja ya kwanza ya pili akaona huyu anazijua. Akaamua kunichanganya haraka haraka akasema nitajie ili ya kikrest. Nikamtajia. Akasema nitajie muscles hapo. Nikamtajia moja mbili. Akasema naomba nenda nenda. Kwa mimi asanyekea muscles yangu hey! tena. Pigia Yesu aliye hai. Haleluya. Woo! Haleluya kanisa. Haleluya kanisa. 
Abu Msangiria Yesu wali hai Jehovah Word He is mighty to save today Hallelujah Buwana Yesu wa sifia sana Hallelujah Dio ba Kwa hiyo Bada wapale ya kambia nenda Kwa hini mvetoka Siku kata daika mbili Kwa hini daika moja tu Ila watu asema mtuwa kwanza Zima kaya daika ishirini Asa ni potoka inje Watu kwa niluza Umesha toka teari Ni kambia ye ni metoka Kambia kuliza nini Kambia hiki na hiki Hihi ya manumbula msuati kidogo Ni kambia ni yukua na Yesu Asa Alia fuata nyuma angu yule Watu watatu nyuma angu Wako amingia ule wa msina mbili Alivu ingia Haka toka Haka ambua alaje kusapua Hani kule maswali ya meuliza hawezi Hajibu Kwa kambia je kurudia Alifu ata tena nyuma angu, akambia waje kurudia tena. Ani ya mingia mule, anauliza swali ya hajui. Ambe nenda kasome tena, uli tena. Wakatua, kambia nenda kasome tena, kule maksa isha kwekia usha kosa. Ila mimi kule sabu nishaweza shanyi kwa wow! kisamu teari. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Jesus! Kanisa hallelujah! Kanisa hallelujah! Ebu sema hii siwa akiri ya kawaida. Huyu lazima atakuwa Yesu. Ebu msangiria Yesu alia hai, hallelujah Sante Yesu Christo Yani, ukitaka kujua tofauti ya maisha Usiangaria kibari kilichoku jawi ya mwenzako Kwa sabu ujui amebeba kibari cha jinsi gani Buwana Yesu wa sifio sana Haujajua uyo mwenzako amebeba kibari cha jinsi gani Na ameambatana na nani, ni nani yuko nyuma yake Kumbe yeye amebeba Yesu Alipona ingia na Yesu mzima mziba Yesu waka geuza kiri ya muindi Haka mpangiria maswari pale Bada haka sema Imetosha sitaki kukuliza mengi na juu na fahamu Lakini wanakuda mwenzake wakuanza mekosa Anakuda mwingine mekosa Hey, ebu msangiria joba wede Anaweza kufanda majabu Hallelujah Jesus Hallelujah Wanafunzi tupo Kuferi kwanzia leo shio funguletu katika jina na Yesu Kwa sawa tumejua siri Hii ni siri ya ushindi Sawa Siri ya nini Ya ushindi kwenye masomo yetu Amen Endeleba Kwa hiyo wakapita kama watu watu wengi Bada hile muinda kama watu kutoka nje Akaja kuambia watu Jamani mna nisumbua Huku ndani mkifika mjui chochote kile Naomba msome kitu flani kitu flani na kitu flani Ama mwa tu kusema ni bora kitu geni msome Hila kija kule Angala ujue kile kitu na kijua Bada kusema vile, ikabidi tu kule akame badilika mood. Hakaanza kuhuliza sasa vile vitu indibu sana. Kweka vitu vitu. Kwa mta naenda kule, anaudia malane, malatatu. Ene anaenda, anaulizwa, hajui anaulishwa. Anaenda, anabia luli tena, malatatu mta naenda. Lakiti mimi sikuwa chata daika moja, ni kwa nimisha maliza. Kwa hiyo, napena kumshudia mungu wa mali hapa. Napena kumshukulu, mungu wa POG, mungu wa profeti sanga. Kwa kweli, mimi napenda neno. Sao kama ni mwanafumzi napena kusikiza dasani Lakini semu kuba mbo mimi napena kusikiza zaidi Ni kiwa kanisani na sikiza neno la mungu Kwa hiyo mafundisha hapa ya menijenga sana Ni mebadilika tufauta ya vio ni mbukua mwanzo Ingelikuwa kama nilipokuwa kule zamani Kama ni kakakisho ndo ule mtiani Ningeanza Napigia pigia ili mwalimu kesho kidogo Awe mlegevu mlegevu kidogo Ili ya nyuzi masaya Lakini kusabu ni mefundisha hapa mafundisha ya upendo Ya damu ya Yesu, nimejengika vizuri kiimani na natimbea na Yesu. Kwa hiyo, napena kwa shauli wanafunzi nzangu, hata wafanya kazi, tutumie damu ya Yesu, damu ya Yesu ina nguvu, mana damu ya Yesu ndiyo Yesu mwenye. Kanisa msangiri ya banesu kwa makofi tena, pigi Yesu Christo makofi, makofi ya shangwe, sante Yesu Christo. Kwa hii ndio broshua mbao rienda nao chuoni. Hii broshua nilikuwa, sabu ule mtenu kwa kongea, Lakini ule mchano wa kuandika, practical pamuja na theory, ni kuwa naeka mikona kuna hii, kuna hii brochu wa naeka hivi, hafu ni kuwa naomba na jitakasa kwa dami ya Yesu. Ili kazi za mikona yangu zuzi kubarikiwa. Na umesema maswari kwenye theory ya likuwa miya moja. Ni mathori miya moja ndiyo. Na unajibu ndani ya masama wili. Ndani ya masama wili. Maswari miya. Maswari miya ndiyo. Na Yesu waka kuwezesha kuyajibu yote. Ndiyo yote ni mejibu. Kanisa mpigi Yesu makofi, glory to Jesus. Sante. Una kitu kingine cha kusema baba? Mina pena kwa shauli wa umini wa mbo tuko mahali hapa, tuko mahali sahi, tuzidi kumtumikia mungu wa likupo mahali hapa, ni kweli ni mungu na mini memuona. Santeni. Wetukufu kwa Yesu. Mungu wa kubariki sana, na endele kukuteke. Umesema mwaka ngapi saivi? Niko mwaka wa kwanza. Mwaka wa kwanza. Ndiyo. Kuna miaka mine mbele hapo. Ndiyo. Ok, tunamini huyu mungu wa nabisanga, aliekwezesha haya. 
Yaani tunaiona excellence kwenye masomo yako yote mpako na mariza katika chini ya Yesu. Kanisa mpigie soma coffee glory to Jesus. Sante Yesu Kristo ya hai. Keep watching BOG Family TV. Jesus Christ loves you.